Hi teachers, welcome to the Internet Security Workshop number one. While you are all enjoying the wonderful technology in our daily life, sometimes you may forget about the dark side of the technologies, especially the online activity using internet. Today, I would like to talk to you about one of the problem, ransomware. Ransomware is a type of malware which prevents you to access your data from your computer. There are two ways to do it. First, crypto. It encrypts some of your files and will only give you the decryption keys after you make your payment. Second, blockers. It simply locks your computer and you can't access anything at all unless you pay them. I think it is obvious that the name ransomware means that you need to pay ransom in order to get back something important to you. There are a couple common ways that ransomware can get onto your computer. Phishing email. The email is crafted really convincing to the victims that it is a legal document, so they take the bait. In addition, it can also be a customized email after they look up your personal information from LinkedIn or other social media website. We call this sphere phishing. Normally, just opening a phishing email isn't enough to get a user infected with ransomware. Attackers still need users to take one more additional step in order to get the malicious, malicious ransomware code to execute. You need to either opening an infected attachment or clicking on the link that takes them to an infected website. Compromise the website. It hosting exploit kit which can upload malicious code to your computer through the inability browser software such as the outdated flash player. Next one, USB. This may not be a common way that you find from the internet. However, from my personal experience, it is definitely a common way to spread the computer viruses when the teachers and students share data through USB without scanning it. Some of the malware may even have an Octo-1 function. Once you open the drive, it automatically downloads the malware to your computer and it can spread through the networking computer and infects all the computer at your school. You may think that you didn't know that ransomware is really a big problem as you usually hear about internet thief or cyberbullying at school. Let me remind you a news from last year. Ring the bell yet? WannaCry is the biggest ransom global attacks record in history. It affected hospitals, IT organizations, stations, networks, ATM machines, and universities. There are two main reasons caused this horrible global cyber attack, which interrupted the public services and caused huge economic impacts as well. First reason was the Eternal Blue was stolen from the National Security Agency and littered online for the attackers to use to spread WannaCry. Second, was exploit the Windows vulnerabilities as many Windows users didn't update their system regularly, even though Windows released the patches to cause these exploits at least a month ago. It sounds really scary. So how can we prevent this happening to us? It is actually not hard. First, do not open suspicious email attachment or downloaded file. Attackers will try to avoid wasting suspicious, so they often hide ransomware in the types of attachment we expect to receive. Some of the most common include Microsoft Office documents and also the PDFs. Next, update your operation system and software promptly. As you can see from the WannaCry situation, it is important to keep our operation system up to date. These technology companies are experts in this area and it is their responsibility to protect the customers. So I am sure it will be a win-win situation if we cooperate each other. Lastly, make backups of all important files regularly. According, according to the ransomware victims, they may not be able to restore their files even though they pay their ransom. So it is a good practice to have a backups on external drive just in case if there's anything happen to your computer. These are the basic knowledge to protect your computer and the school networking computers. So please act smart and educate your students as well. Thank you for listening.